Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your love reading for April 2019. Libra in love, so we'll see what is going on with you. Thank you for stopping by and watching. If you're new or uh, reoccurring re viewers, thank you so much. If you're new and you like the way I read, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, so just a quick overview. This may or may not resonate with every Libra. Um, we may pick up on past, present, or future energy, so please keep that in mind. And uh, you can check the description box for the, all the decks I'm using, information on personal readings, and my PayPal link is there if you wish to ton, uh, donate or tip as an exchange of energy. That would be greatly appreciated. No amount is too small, so thank you so much for that. And I just want to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for all the wonderful new subscribers I have gotten. Thank you so much for your support, your likes, your shares, your comments. It's greatly, greatly appreciated because I love doing this for you guys. And my uh, clients also who's reached out for personal readings. Thank you so much. So we're just going to get started here, uh, Libra. So... With this deck here, we will see. And again, um, I may mention the signs that I see. Only take in the signs that resonate with you. And if an, any of the other signs I mention do not resonate, then don't uh, keep those signs. Keep the energy of the cards as I read them, but only keep the signs that resonate. As I'll probably get several different signs in this reading. It is tarot. So you always have uh, several signs that come out. So just take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. So let's see what kind of energy some of you could be dealing with Libra for the month of April 2019. Libra in love spirit, please. What is going on with the Libras in love? Wow, two flew out, but I only want one. What is going on? There we go. Moon. Okay, this just flipped in my hand and I put it back and it came back out. So this is moon energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces or Cancer or you could have it in your chart. Uh, this is about cycles ending. Uh, new cycles, old cycles. This is about feelings and emotions, intuition, love, um, feelings that sort of thing so we'll see how that plays in to your reading Libra so with this Oracle deck here we will see what your message is for the month of April 2019 in love what is your message what do you need to know about love and it can be any situation you're in we're just going to see what comes out and you can relate it to your situation and if it doesn't relate then this message probably isn't for you so if you feel like it's not resonating, please don't try to make it fit. If it's not resonating, it's probably just not for you. You can check other signs in your chart and watch those readings. Specifically, Venus for love. Okay, or maybe you need to check your moon sign if this doesn't resonate. Because the moon is there. Okay. So for Libra. I only want one Libra spirit, please, for April 2019. What is going on with the Libras in love? What do they need to know? What is their message? Okay. This over here. Prioritize. Let's see if we get that on the camera. There we go. Archangel Metatron, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. Okay, so we'll see how that plays in. Get need to get organized in your love life. Need to maybe you need to prioritize your love relationship. Maybe you're working too much. Maybe you're spending too much time on everything else but your loved one in your relationship. Maybe you're in this time, during this time, it is time to end that cycle of doing whatever you're doing too much of and 
start focusing more on your relationship or your marriage or whatever it is for you. All right, so what's, let's see what the romance angels have to say about Libra in love for April. And if you want to make this reading faster, I forgot to mention that at the beginning, go to the settings button there. It's on the right bottom of the screen. Um, you'll see that little flowery um, icon there that is to go into your settings and you can go into speed and you can speed this up. You can even slow it down. I don't know why anyone would want to slow anything down, but uh, you can speed it up because I've had comments that they think it's too slow or whatever. So that option is there and I didn't know you could do that until recently look what I just had fall out I'm not gonna take it but that could be a message for some of you give your relationship a chance true love so I just want one card one card for Libra for April 2019 Libras in love spirit please what is going on with the Libras in love with the romance angels there we go attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so that could go in with um prioritize maybe you need to enjoy your romantic life a little bit more your romantic love a little bit more maybe you're focusing on too many other things and not your love or your love life or your partner maybe you need to show them how attracted you are to them. Maybe you haven't been showing that lately. Okay, so let's see with this deck. We could get an answer. We could get advice. We could get a timeline. So what do Libras need to know? Spirit, please. For April 2019. Just one card. For the Libras in love. For April 2019. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? We get an answer or a timeline or advice for Libra in love. <laughs> Success. So something here will be successful. So something will be successful here. So we'll see when we get into the tarot. How that plays out maybe you're worried about how to prioritize your life what to put more focus into what to put at the top of your list maybe you're confused but this is telling you let me just fix that okay but this is telling you you will have success it will be successful Okay, so what is, all right, well, this just popped out for some of you could be dealing with a twin flame. Okay, so what is the love message that Libra, wow, I just want one. Libra needs to know spirit for April 2019. What is the love message for Libra for 2019, April 2019, Libra in love? What is the message for them? One card, please. Okay, I just had one flipped. Maybe now I gotta find it. You're gonna make me dig for it. I know I see one flip. Ah, there it is. Time. Wow. You are trying too hard. Give it time. But uh, this is just confirming to me that you need to spend more time with your person. You need to spend more time with your person. That is what that is t saying to me. I don't know how that resonates for you, but you need to put uh, more focus. It says focus on your highest priority. If this person, if, if you're married or in a relationship, whatever it is for you, if you know and you feel that this person is your priority, then I think maybe you need to show it more, spend more time with them, make them your priority. 
show them how attracted you are to them. Maybe you need to spend some alone time together. Okay, so let's clarify these cards. And that can go in with the moon energy, too, of showing feelings and emotions, um, love, and that sort of thing. Shuffle here for Libra in love for April 2019. Spirit, please. What do they need to prioritize? What is this prioritize card about for Libra in love for April 2019? Spirit, please. Can we clarify that? For here we go. Five of Wands. This is conflict. So maybe you just feel like you have so much going on in your life. You have so much to do, so many places to go, so many people to deal with, so much going on in your life. You just don't... Maybe you have this inner conflict. You just don't know how to prioritize anything. What do I do? What do I... Where do I go? I'm like... Have so much energy here is spread so thinly and I feel so conflicted in inner conflict I'm just oh like overwhelmed all right let's see what else we have here two of swords oh yeah you're you're kind of like indecisive don't want to make a decision it's like you don't want to decide what to cut out of your life what needs your highest attention and what doesn't? You're cutting those things away. I feel like you can't make that decision to cut some of this conflict out of your life. Because you're kind of blind to it here. It's like, you know, I know I need to cut some of this bullshit out, but I just don't know how. I don't know who. I don't know when. Why? I'm confused. I'm conflicted. There's so much going on. Let's see what else. Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is definitely need to take action here. This is air energy. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is like taking movement, taking action, taking your sword here and just moving forward and just cutting away the bullshit. Just cutting it away, cutting away what is just too much in your life causing too much conflict so you can spend more time with your person. All right, let's get one more. Yeah, you're juggling. You're juggling too much. You're doing too much. You have too much on your plate. Too many things to do. Feeling imbalanced. Yeah, and there's a need to prioritize here. Cut away some of this bullshit, things that aren't really serving you. Just make that decision to do it and make that effort forward, you know, to become more um, balanced. Need more balance here to prioritize things in your life. Have more free time to spend with your person here. A time. <laughs> I just said time, and I forgot this card came out confirming here. Time. You need to spend more time... With your person so I feel like one more yeah this is working together yeah working you know working to remove working to remove this bullshit taking that action to remove all this crap and conflict and imbalance and bullshit out of your life that you really don't need So you could come together and spend more time with your person. Okay. Let's see what we have for attraction. Wow, that was quick. The Emperor. You know, I did have the Twin Flame card flop fly out and you saw me show it. And this does represent the Divine Masculine. So you could be in a Twin Flame situation. Maybe you are married to this person or you're just getting into, re into a relationship 
and you're trying to figure out how to prioritize that relationship over everything else in your life, over all this other bullshit and crap in your life. But this, and, or this could be just you needing to take control of the emperor energy here of your life, of all this that's going on in your life. Um, just taking control here. This is Aries energy. You need to take control of your life. Knight of Pentacles. You know, might might take time. Might be a slow process here. Uh, this could be your person coming in if you're not already uh, engaged or married. Coming in with a solid, secure offer also. So this could go either way. If you are in a relationship or marriage, uh, there's a need for you to take control of your life and cut away the bullshit and, you know, come to your partner and say, you know, I'm ready to spend more time with you. Here is my offer. Or this could be a um, person coming into you wanting you to offer something more stable and grounded, a commitment of some kind. They Them taking the lead here with the emperor energy but you know they may know you have all this other stuff going on in your life only you would know what that is but they still want to come forward and take the lead here and offer you something so it could go either way so you take what story resonates for you i'm getting a couple different messages here so let's see what else do we have justice wow okay so libra and this is you libra this is you this is your energy Libra, Libra energy right here. This is uh, you wanting just justice, giving justice with the sword here, cutting away things that you need to cut away here that are no longer serving you so you can have your true love, your soulmate twin flame, this person come into your life and serve you justice. And you probably also need to serve them justice by clearing away this stuff in your life to spend more time with you, with them. This is equal give and take and balance and writings of wrongs and just justice. There's a need for justice in this situation. So for some of you, you need to clear away some things in your life so you have more room and more time for your person. Or you need to do this so this person can offer you something and you have them as your top, top priority so you can have success in this relationship. Because I see there... Uh, they could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, they're very much grounded, stable, secure, um, honest, dependable. What they have to offer is honest and true, and they want to work on it for the long haul, long term. But yeah, there's a need here to clear away things that aren't serving you. So you can have this uh, attraction in your life. And it'd be showing them too how much you're attracted to them by making this space, making this room for them, by cutting away things that you don't need in your life anymore. And they are attracted enough for you. They want to offer you something here. They want to serve you justice. They want to take the lead. Or you need to take the lead to cut these things out of your life to make room for them to come in. Either way. So you take it how it resonates. So let's just move this over a little bit here. So, okay, what is success about? Spirit, please. For Libra in love. This reading is turning out a little bit longer than expected, but let's see. Wow, okay. Six of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So this definitely could be a soulmate, someone from your past, past life relationships with the Six of Cups here. Uh, thinking back fondly on this person, on the memories, on the relationship. Maybe you've been together for a long time. And this now with the Knight of Wands. This is fire energy, uh, Leo Sag Aries, but it doesn't have to be. So I see this success here. There'll be newfound passion. There'll be action movement forward. Be a lot of passion, excitement, energy, drive. Um, 
and this uh, soulmate energy here, the Six of Cups. Wow, so that will be successful. Very passionate too. You know, if you're already in a relationship, you might be getting more action here. <laughs> oh, okay. So, with time. You are trying too hard. That could be that you just are working too hard. Um, just doing too much in life, pleasing everybody else. Giving too much to other people. Time. Eight of Swords. Yeah. Trapped in your own mind. Uh, trapped in the way you think. Trapped in your current situations. Uh, you may feel like, like it's a never-ending cycle here like at the moon you just feel trapped like well I have to do this I have to do that I'm, I'm bound to it you know I can't cut that away I can't cut this away that's something that uh, people depend on me but this is your own blockage and you could get out of that at any time because you only have this that is barely tied to you and all these swords to cut it away and take the blindfold off. Let's see what else do we have? The King of Wands. So we have the Knight of Wands and now the King of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles over here. So we're getting a lot of energy or it could in the Knight of Swords over there. So it could just be energy and not, I mean, you could have four men here. I don't think so. <laughs> So I think these are just energies, uh, you and them taking on these energies. So, yeah, so he's coming in as a knight of pentacles and a knight of wands. You know, wanting, you know, to move forward with passion and desire, but also wants something for the long haul and offers something secure and stable. And then now he's the king. Or this is just you, you know, taking action here and standing up for yourself being passionate and courageous and brave and coming out of this mental blockage here and just removing those things that are no longer serving you. Might take some time here. Ace of Wands and there's your brand new beginning. Wow, passionate. A lot of fire energy here. Some of you definitely could be dealing with the Leo Sagra Aries, uh, but there's this a brand new passionate beginning. It's creative, it's exciting, it's a spark. Brand new beginning. So there will be success. There will be a passionate brand new beginning. You know, you got to take the time to look at your life and see what you need to change, what you need to cut away. It's no longer serving you. To have this brand new beginning with your true love, your soulmate, or just to reignite the passion in your relationship, as with the attraction here, to serve that justice. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. So either you are you are single, and this is a person coming in, and this um, it's going to be more committed now. It's going to be an offer. Or this is just you um, being more strong and stable now, um, standing up for yourself and cutting those things away. Ten, yep, not the Ten of Pentacles now. So you definitely could have, this is the marriage card. This is the happy home and family. This is two people coming together as one in all aspects of life. Home, uh, family, children, um, material, and monetary. It's growth and prosperous, financially abundant. So, yeah, so I feel like Yep. You just need to do the groundwork here. You know what you need to do to get to this Ten of Pentacles because you got the Nine and then the Ten. So you have to do the work here to have the Ten of Pentacles. You have to do the groundwork here within yourself and around you to make your life more stable. Stability with the Pentacles and know what you need to do to bring this into your life or make this stronger than what it is. 
or what it has been. So that's two messages. So again, take it how it resonates. And let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for extra guidance. Sensitivity. Archangel Haniel, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Right, honor yourself. You know, do what's right for you by re-evaluating your life, prioritizing what you need to prior prioritize, cut away things you need to cut away. And maybe you're very sensitive doing that. Maybe you feel bad. Maybe you feel like you can't do it, but this is telling you here that you need to. Right, prosperity. And you had the Ten of Pentacles here. Exactly, prosperity. Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality, as with the moon energy. It's all about manifesting. It's about um, intuition, dreams, uh, emotions, and feelings. And you can have prosperity and the Ten of Pentacles with your person here. Okay, uh, Libra, that was your love reading for April 2019. I hope it resonated in some way. Like I said, there's two storylines here, so you take which one resonates and throw away, I guess, the one that doesn't. Um, didn't get a lot of cups here, though. I didn't get any cups, which is a sign of, oh, except for the Six of Cups, so and that is the soulmate card. So this deaf person definitely is your soulmate or, you know, could be Twin Flame. I did have that pop out when I was shuffling the Lover's Oracles. So definite soulmate anyway energy here. Of either someone you're resurrecting a relationship and renewing it and making it stronger. Or this new person coming in that there will be a more committed uh, relationship here. Taking it to the next level. But you need some groundwork. Do some groundwork and reevaluating of your life first to get to this brand new beginning that's passionate in the Ten of Pentacles. To have that abundance and prosperity right there. And that's ending a cycle and starting a new cycle in life. It takes time, but you will have success here. All right, Libra, uh, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. And like I said, if you like how I read, please like, share, subscribe all that good stuff. Any questions, please leave them below and I will answer them. And I'm sending you much, much uh, luck and sending you um, light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, the end of every reading, always shine your light.